tougher time at, on a Saturday, this cold Saturday, and this is a very important thing that people are mobilizing everywhere. Our brothers and sisters from Nova Scotia and PEI are starting to wake up because people are starting to apply for EI and are being given all kinds of malarkey excuses just to say that they're suspended or being put on hold, and that is part of a greater problem. And one of the greater problems is Bama Vancouver and Company are hiding the truth, and it's wrapped up in a big blanket called anonymous bill. One of the things we have to clarify is if they don't want us on their heels, they should come explain to us exactly what's going on. And we will not give up until we get some modifications to help rural economies. Because what's going on right now for the people that are working full-time jobs, don't think that you're spared from this. And don't just think that it's people that are collecting EI. Because if the economy slows down, if somebody goes for a raise, let's say in two or three years, what is going to happen from this is, for example, your bosses are going to tell you, well, the economy is pretty slow, I can't give you a raise. Why? Because the Harper government is sucking everything out west and in central Canada. Wake up, Atlantic Canada! Merci à Michel Astage Mandré au porte-parole euh, du comité du Grand Mountain Guillaume. Ben, bonjour tout le monde. Mon nom est Claudeau du comité du Grand Mountain. Je vous remercie d'être ici ce soir dans la date Il était bon. Plus proche. Plus proche Oui. Ok. Il est important qu'on continue à poser des actions comme qu'on fait aujourd'hui pour se poser. Comme qu'on fait dans Inkemun, à Kedjoui, dans la Gaspésie. Ça va montrer au gouvernement qu'on lâche pas prise, qu'on va se laisser faire pour les capable de tenir debout même si on était d'avant avec la réforme. Ouais! Ouais! Notre but aujourd'hui, notre but de cette manifestation-là, c'est de faire reculer le gouvernement, que cette réforme-là soit amendée pour répondre à nos besoins dans les régions maritimes. Le gouvernement a fait la sourde à toutes nos demandes depuis des mois. Il nous a imposé cette réforme-là au travers d'un document de plus de 400 pages. Est-ce hey, vraiment acceptable dans un pays démocratique comme le Canada? Non, c'est inacceptable! J'aimerais profiter pour vous, vous dire que c'est très important de faire pression sur nos élus. Au niveau de on a 8 députés conservateurs d'élus. C'est un lien direct avec Ottawa. C'est important de les téléphoner, de les envoyer des courriels, de manifester devant leur bureau, puis en faire comprendre qu'on ne les supporte pas, qu'on veut qu'elle à Ottawa ils peuvent aller cogner à la cour de la ministre Sedley. La ministre Sedley, il y a une lettre qui lui a été envoyée, lui demandait de venir nous rencontrer ici des provinces maritimes. Ça serait bon que la ministre sorte de sa tour d'Ivoire à Ottawa pour venir voir qu'est-ce qui se passe ici au Nouveau-Brunswick, ici dans les maritimes. Qu'elle arrête de se coucher les yeux. Aujourd'hui, pourquoi on a décidé de faire ce événement-là ici aujourd'hui, en ce moment, c'est que M. Valcourt, euh, qui vient d'une région autochauvale, une région de Saint-Quentin, dans le nord-ouest de nos bonnes puisque la Corée est la plus grande industrie, M. Valcourt, c'est un des plus grands défenseurs de ce réforme-là dans les maritimes. Il y a des femmes qui ont basse de marée, il a trouvé bonne sa réforme, mais M. Valcourt, il est à Ottawa pour ses intérêts personnels à lui, pas pour les intérêts du monde du Nouveau-Brunswick. Oui! C'est pour ça qu'on a envoyé un message pour le
protests in front of their offices. They have to get the message. And like Guillaume said, the reason we're here tonight is because Bernalva and Cole, Stephen Harper's lieutenant and chief person in New Brunswick, who is trying to sell this bullshit to unemployed workers, is here tonight. And that's why we're here. Yay! So in closing, uh, we've got the table set up. We've got bread and water, uh, a little bit of peanut butter and jam, and unfortunately, uh, people who are dependent on the ice system may be eating a whole lot more of this. So I invite you to join us for a piece of bread and some water uh, just over here on the table. We'll have one more speaker, Catherine Clare from the Isle of No More movement, who'd like to say a few words. Hello everyone, my name is Katrina Clare from Elsie Book the First Nation, um, um, from the Mi'kmaq Nation. And we do not consent to any of these federal legislation changes that have recently been made with Bill C-38 and Bill C-45, all the EI changes and everything else. All these ominous bills that are being introduced and passed are under our noses and none of us are aware and we do not consent. And we are here to support you because we understand and we see your frustration and your anger. Thank we, you! We feel the same way too. And, and we are with you! Um, I also wanted to invite all of you here today to come to an event that's planned on Monday in Sackville. Um, we have a missing Mi'kmaq brother, Chris Metallic, from the area, who um, a Mount Allison student at the university there, and we decided to do um, a traffic information slowdown, and we have little cards, and it does mention the EI changes on there, so we do welcome everyone who's being affected by all of these changes to come join us and stand with us uh, in Sackville on Monday. We're we'll we'll be there! On the we exit, we're going to be there from 10 o'clock in the morning till 4, and we'll have, um, we have, we have a list of guest speakers, um, the town councillors, um, Bill Evans, we have a university professor for environmental, um, we have like shale gas, anti-shale gas speakers, we have, um, Danny Legier from Cupe, who will be speaking to as well, and um, we'll be there. <laughs> yay, 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 yay. Yeah, we'll have some food too. We're having an outdoor barbecue, and we plan to feed the people. But at the end, we do plan to help the family, the Chris, the Metallic family, search for their son. We're going to dedicate two hours to helping the family search, and we would appreciate your help with this as well. So please come and dress warm, and we can't wait.